travel vlogs when I can okay travel vlogs I do makeup videos and also a lot of videos as well and I'm trying to um, do a little bit more lifestyle so if it's a vlog it may be you know I'm gonna try to do more lifestyle vlogs if I'm not traveling so in a vlog category that's what it'll be travel slash lifestyle <laughs> We're gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my best. Anyway, so today's video, we're gonna talk about the do's and don'ts for your starter box. So if you are interested into this bit, if you're interested in this video, make sure you continue to watch. But first, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right. <laughs> Let's get into the video. All right, guys, so this video should not be long. I hope it's not gonna be too long. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Like I said, it's a do and don'ts video. Starter locks, or if you just got locks, period. You know, if you've been in the uh, beginner stages of your locks, um, this may be helpful for to you, helpful to you um, if you guys want to hear some of my suggestions. <laughs> so the first do is let your hair take its course. When a lot of people, you know, when they get their starter locks, like the first day, the, you know, they go into the two weeks and the three weeks, they like, oh man, what can I do with my hair? What can I do with my hair? Um, when is it gonna lock? How long is it gonna lock? I'm just gonna say this. Just relax, sis, bro. Just relax. Your hair is gonna lock. Everybody's hair texture is different. So you have to let your hair take its course, you know? It's not going to lock overnight, no. It's not. It's just not going to do that, you know, unless you get, you know, insta-locks. And if that's your way that you want to, you know, grow, go around, not go around, but if that's your way that you want to, you know, do your locks, then, you know, um, by all means do it. But that's the only way that you will have your locks instantly lock if you do insta-locks. But, so, I'm going to say, just calm down, get your locks, and just at the beginning part just just don't worry about it locking immediately don't think too hard none of that just let your locks take its course because everybody's journey is different believe me okay so for my don't don't manipulate your hair too much don't be going crazy like I said, when you in the beginner stages of getting your starter locks or you know you in maybe like month the first month or two months in and well two months is not that not that bad but if you're in the first month and you know your hair is trying to find you know trying to figure out what, what you're doing to it because it's new whether you were doing a twist out braid out well braids or um sister locks or original you know regular traditional locks whatever you ch choose to do your hair is trying to like you know kind of figure out what you're trying to do to it especially if you're used to doing braids or you know blowing it out you know the normal stuff that you would do as a loose natural so um i would after you get your starter locks i wouldn't manipulate it too much um i know some people do get their hair styled which is cool if you're going to a lactician because they know what they're doing unless you know what you're doing you know you know how to style your hair when you have starter locks by all means do what you do but I wouldn't manipulate it too much by doing too many styles, um, putting color, and I think I'll get back, get into that a little later. But just doing too much, putting into ponytails. Like I say, if you get it styled by a lactician, you know, it's, it's cool because they know how to properly do your hair or do your style. I wouldn't get it often because, you know, you want to look cute because, you know, <laughs> everybody has that, like, boyish stage when you first get your starting locks like dang I kind of look you know, like a little boy you know so you want to get cute and that, that, that's nothing wrong with that you know 
but I just wouldn't I just wouldn't manipulate it too much by styling it styling it too often you know in the beginning stage now when, once you get into like four or five months then you can do a little a, a, a little more with your locks but starter locks for like the first two months maybe maybe three um I would just you know refer back to the first let your hair take its course you know just don't style your hair too often. Don't manipulate it too often, okay? So, cause you know you want your hair to lock and you want it to be healthy and you don't want it to thin out early by doing too much at once. You know, I wouldn't recommend you manipulate your hair too often in the beginner stage. Do what you want, but just not too often. So for my next do is to make sure you sleep with a silk slash satin scarf um because that's just going to be the best you know for um lint for one you know won't lint in your hair coming off your pillowcase if you sleep with a cotton pillowcase or whatever you sleep on um you don't want friction on your hair you don't want your hair to break off i mean you you can still get breakage even though you have locks you may not be able to see it as much if you was a loose natural but your hair can still you know break off and, and, and especially in in the beginner stages too um you don't want your hair to dry out so i would definitely use a silk or a satin scarf or if you have a pillowcase that works as well i have a bonnet that i use at night and my you know it keeps my locks protected the way i like them to be protected so yeah Make sure you get a silk or satin bonnet to sleep in at night. Or if you're just lounging around the house, throw that thing on, girl, because you don't want no lint and you don't want no little, little balls, little BBs and stuff in your head. You got to go back and take them out. I don't have too much of a problem with that, but um, it can happen. So this goes into my next don't. Do not put cotton scarves on your locks. I wouldn't recommend that because for one, if you sleep on it or just sleep on your regular um, uh, pillowcase that's cotton or whatever, especially in, in the beginner stage, like it's very important in your beginner stage, I wouldn't recommend you to sleep with a cotton scarf or just on your pillow because you can pick up lint or it can pick up the cotton that's off the pillow or anything off the scarf it can dry your hair out for one because if you have oils or your natural oils and you put that cotton it's going to soak up into the scarf or into the pillowcase that you uh, may sleep on so i would try to avoid sleeping on or with cotton scarves or pillows if you can so i recommend satin or silk scarves or bonnets whatever you prefer to sleep in or pillowcases so for my next do is make sure you wash your locks. Okay, so from when I was um, starting my locks, you know, I was doing my own research because that's what you should do if that's what you want to do, you know, whatever lock style you want to do. I did my own research and I did see, you know, that some people say, oh, you shouldn't wash your hair that often. And some people say, no, you should wash your hair often. And I feel like um, it's important for you to wash your hair. So I wouldn't go like three months without washing your hair just because you want your hair to lock i just feel like that's that's not clean for your hair and if you know your hair gonna be stinking you, you don't you don't want stinking brand new locks like no so what i would do is maybe it, you can access a loctician what you know what they preference would be if you don't want to go to them you know or you can actually go to the loctician like I did. It was new to me, like I've always did my own hair all the time. So this was a new style and I wanted it to be right. So I went to a loctician to start them and I went to a loctician to, you know, to get them washed and for her to take care, to, to take care of them in my beginner, uh, beginner stages of my locks. So when my first initial wash, she did, I think she did like a dry shampoo. That's what it that's what it felt like. She took a little dry shampoo just to get my scalp because my hair was still kind of like freshly curled and it hasn't um did any type of locking yet. So that was after a month and it hasn't did anything. So the first time I went back, I think it was like 
three weeks after my initial install, I went to um, my lactician and she kind of dry shampooed it, retwisted me, put all the little clean stuff in there that she did, and I was on my way. And I think I went to her again. Yeah, the second time I went there, the second time I went to her, she actually washed it because my hair, you know, was, I guess it was ready for that stage to actually be washed. That's why I say you shouldn't, you know, don't manipulate your hair too much unless you go to a lactician they know what they're doing because you don't want to be disappointed in the end because your, your locks ain't coming out right because you're doing too much. Anyways, um, I would just say wash your hair. You got to wash your hair. And, and maybe some lacticians may have their own, you know, theory of what they should do. I don't know. But I'm just telling you what my lactician did. And I, you, I feel like you got to wash your hair. Even if it's with dry shampoo or something just to clean your scalp. And eventually you're going to have to actually wash the whole thing. So for my for my experience with washing my hair at the beginning, dry shampoo. And I think the second and third time I actually got to wash. Because I think about like my fourth or fifth um, fourth or fifth month, I started experiencing, not experiencing, I started to, yeah, I started to experience um, trying to wash it on my own so I was very careful the first wash I did because I was just so nervous I didn't want to mess it up and then after that I was just like okay I don't even really go to the lactician anymore I'm kind of learning how to wash my hair properly you know it just it's a process you know so for my next don't I would say wait to dye your locks don't dye your hair too early okay so no I don't want a lot of people to come and be like girl you know what you're talking about you know lactician I'm not a lactician but um, I know, you know, about hair, you know, I'm a girl, I know about hair. And even if it was loose natural, you know, you, you shouldn't dye your hair that often. Um, anyways, that's just off the subject. Anyways, so in the beginner stage, when your hair is kind of like in this fragile state, when it's new, it's curly, it hasn't yet locked, I um, would say, well, I would recommend not to dye your starter locks you probably can but you know we're putting dye and bleaching on there that's going to tank that's going to change your texture of the hair whether it be loose natural or what it's going to it's going to change the slightly change the texture of your hair maybe you guys have got, had that done after you had started like fresh starter locks i'm talking about fresh like one month two months three months that's what i'm talking about but if you, I, I would suggest if you want to dye your hair before you get locks, I would suggest you just go ahead and dye your hair before you get locks. That way your color is already in, you get it locked up, but when you got the color that you want, you won't have to worry about none of that dyeing it while you're, you know what I'm saying, your new locks are in. Because I just feel like it's just going to be not good. I don't know. I just feel like it won't be, it, will, it wouldn't be good. I could be wrong, but... I would just wait to dye your locks if you can hold out to maybe like when you get into maybe like month five or six to when you actually start seeing budding then you know you can kind of test out some colors and stuff and do whatever you want you know but it definitely would go to a lactician you know if you don't know how to do it yourself definitely go to a lactician to get your hair dyed professionally done but if you just really want color so bad I would just suggest you just, you know, dye your hair before you get locks. That doesn't mean that uh, uh, that'll be easier. I just don't want y'all to go out here and be a month in and then you go get some bleach, you want to dye them blonde, and your texture change in the locks. Because it's possible for that to happen. Some of y'all got some of you guys out there actually may have dyed your hair after the fact. You know, and if you have, let me know. Let me know how that experience was because I didn't do it, but I've had my hair dyed, you know, in my, my loose natural stage. And I've seen my actual hair texture change after I dye it or bleach it or do whatever, you know, manipulate it and stuff like that. It, it did change slightly. So I would just say hold off. But if you want it done, if you want to dye your locks, get them done before. But if not, just hold off to like maybe like four or five or whatever your lactician recommends you to do because your hair texture may you know your hair texture may not can um take dye at, at, at four or five six six months you know everybody here locks differently so just ask your lactician what's best for you 
I don't want to tell you what you can't do, but I just would recommend you just to wait if you hadn't got it done for your locks, okay? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> so for a do, I would say, y'all, just relax and enjoy the journey. Don't think about it too much because it's not that hard. Just grow your hair, okay? Just enjoy the journey. The beginner stage, the starter locks from two weeks to, to a month to two months to four months. Like, just enjoy it all. Don't compare your hair or your locks to anybody else because you will not be satisfied, okay? You will be disappointed in the end because you compare your hair to how this person locks look or whatnot, why my hair is not growing. Just enjoy your journey. I've done that before. I'm like, dang, it locks look. I can't wait to mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, but after after a while, I'm just like, okay, my hair is just gonna do what it's gonna do. And my hair has grown so much. Like, just enjoy it. It's, it's it's not a quick process. It's really not. But it's an enjoyable process as well. And you will learn a lot of things about your hair itself. So, just enjoy the journey. And so for my last don't, I'm gonna say do not use a lot of products on your locks. So I wouldn't use a lot of creams. I wouldn't use, well, I wouldn't use creams at all, but I wouldn't use um, a lot of gel and stuff like on your hair, don't your, your edges and stuff slip back all the time. Um, all these leave-in conditioners. I mean, you can leave, I use leave-in conditioner, but excuse me. I just want, I just want, I just put a I just don't want you guys to go um, product junkie. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a new hairdo, you wanna, oh, this is gonna make my hair look fast. Is this gonna make my hair look faster? I don't think no product really will make your hair look faster. It just depends on your type of hair. But I just wouldn't buy a lot of products and put a lot of products in your hair because it will cause buildup. So, throughout my journey, I have not put a lot of products in my hair. Like at all i use my shampoo I use my conditioner i would just say I, I wouldn't use too 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 much products on your locks especially in the beginner stage so or even the stage that i am now like i i don't like to use a lot of products the only products that i use now i used to use lock gel and i'm not saying that i don't use lock gel anymore but i did use tali yg the tight hold with the orange label that's good i will recommend that if you guys are looking for a lock gel um, that's really the only one I've been using since I've been locked and that's been almost four years. So, but these past couple of months, I have just been using water and oil, which is in my, um, spray that I have in all of my lock videos. It's this concoction that I made with, um, I don't have sweet almond oil, olive oil, and I have a few essential oils and just water. And so when I retwist my hair, I'm spraying it on my hair and that's it like that's it that's just all I use and that's all I prefer to use so I am going to get some gel because I need to get some gel I don't need to but you know like I will use that and then probably my concoction but that's it like lately I've just been using water and oil but you know other people textures are different than mine and I don't feel like my hair is like all that soft you know what I'm saying because when I do my retwist, I um, retwist it into a style so I know my retwist can at least stay about like a week or two. And then I'll take my um, like my two-strand twist. That's what I usually style my hair after I do my retwist. So um, that way I know it'll stay in, you know, because I'm not using gel. But whatever floats your boat, you can use gel. I use gel, but I just haven't used it in a while because I feel like the water oil is it's working for me so why not keep using it and that's pretty much it that I use on my hair other than washing my hair with shampoo and you know conditioner afterwards so but whatever product you use that's you and I just recommend don't don't overdo it because you don't want the buildups you don't want this 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 smelliness in your hair and stuff like that so you want your locks to be you know lightweight you know and bouncy at the same time then smell good too so <laughs> that's what i would say don't use too many products on your hair don't go product crazy and, and go 
in a frenzy over some products just because you know you have starter locks and this product you think you think this product is going to make your hair lock or this product is going to make your hair lock you know just time and patience and a good maintenance is going to make your hair lock honestly you don't really need a lot with locks so yeah guys right, so that is pretty much it for this video i hope you like my do's and don'ts so if you guys want to chime in, let me know some of your do's and don'ts that you do for your locks down in the comment section below because I would love to hear about those and maybe some of yours are the same as mine. Some of you may have some different, um, you know, things that you do and some things that you don't do in your routine or your daily life with, with having locks. So I would love to hear them. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And I will see you guys in my next vlog video.